guys. Been a while. Today in this episode, I'll be showing you my brand new Matador Four Edge Burner Barbecue. This thing is out of this world. Well, I wouldn't use those words, but this thing is a game changer. It's pretty good. It's definitely different from everything that you get out there. Something that really caught my eye. I spent hours looking at the right barbecue to get for 2020, uh, for your Christmas presents, or for setting up your summer barbecues. This thing will be good. It's just something that even when I was putting it together, it's just something nice. Everything just comes together nicely and really well. All right, so I've got about a few things that I really love about this barbecue. All right, so the first thing we'll start off with is these dials. You'll notice that these dials are glowing. Well, they've got lights on them, right? So when you, when you turn on, see how this dial sort of shows you the levels from high to low. So that's low and that's high, the dots. There you go. And the same thing goes for him one. Ooh, auto ignition as well. So that's pretty good. You don't need um, a matches or a flame lighter or anything else like that. These are pretty good. And there's also another thing. If we take a peek inside here. So there's plenty of storage space in this Matador barbecue. So you have space to store your tongs and all that. And you got a whole shelf there where you can store stuff. I think you actually put something there um, because the drip, drip drip pan is just this little thing here. It's pretty smart. Just that. So you've got all this space which you can use to keep food warm or something under there. And then if we just come over here on the side there, let's have a look. Let's pull that and see what's, what's there. There you go. You got charger you got a USB charger there where you can charge your phone or whatever you want to charge but USB charging yeah there you go two ports which is pretty good when you're having a barbecue you don't have to reach out for the cord and connect the charger you can just plug in there there you go and these doors are just soft close pretty nice pretty sweet there you go nicely closed hey eh? this Turn that off. There you go. How beautiful is that? Let's check that out, eh? Beautiful. All right, so going on to the top top bit. It's a nice presentation, and I really like the, 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 the color of it. It's just got this stainless steel finish, but not all the way through. You have this black finish to it that makes it have that quality look, and also something that you... When you're sitting and having a look at it, you're like, that's my barbecue. On the top here, you've got this glass for viewing things in there and also this temperature uh, indicator in there, this dial. But most importantly, I want, to ch I want you to check this out. Come over here where you've got these dials. Turn that on. It's a light switch. Have a look inside, eh? Lights. We have lights. How good is that? To have a barbecue that's got lights in it. You can see what you're doing. Hey? Amazing. If that's not enough, we got this at the back there. That's a burner. You got a rear burner there, which you can use to, when you put stuff up here, you can just use that to keep the stuff a bit warm. Or if you were doing some corn, just chuck it on there and then turn that one on which is pretty good by my book. Then, so you've got your solid plate here for your uh, burgers and stuff, and then you got your slotted grill here for anything that you want to do on there. And then you've got this space here. You can just put stuff that's ready, put your drink on there. If we move over to the right side, we've got the, the burner here, the, the side burner, the wok. You can put your wok there. And you can cook some veggies and stuff on there. 
is pretty good. So all in all, like this is a, like a four burner, but it's actually a five burner because it's got that sidewalk thing. And what I really loved about this is that Matador, they have a modular design, which means like I selected this one, but I really wanted a kitchen one, an outdoor kitchen one. So you could buy like the outdoor sink on its own and then add it on later. So you can put it on the side there, remove that bit there, put your little fridge there, and even put like an island bench if you want. Because when it comes to outdoors, the spaces that we have, they're not really, like it's, it's what you get and then you have to work around it. So spending $2,000 versus spending about 900 bucks buying something like this and then adding on bits and pieces, I think the second option is better, just buying bits and pieces, which is going to go a long way to, to like make it the ideal barbecue setup. Yeah, that's that's what I really love about this. It's got rolling wheels, custom wheels, that uh, just helps to move along, and it's got brakes on there as well, so it doesn't roll about. And most, most important, when you buy one of these things, you want to make sure that you buy a cover for it, because you don't want all this nice finish to just sort of get rained on. <coughs> Excuse me. Get birds on there, all kinds of stuff on there. You really want to keep it at that good level. Yeah, so if you're thinking of getting something this Christmas for yourself, for your family, for a barbecue, I mean, this is a four burner. If you feel you need a bigger one, you can get a six burner one, which is bigger. And for a few extra bucks, you can have the island kitchen. No, sorry, the, the, the outdoor sink as well with the other bits on it. But this, for now, will do the trick for me. Um, I'll add on other pieces on it thinking I'll get like an outdoor fridge those go for about six seven hundred bucks how good is it to just reach out and get some drinks off this thing so yeah if you're looking for something to buy buy that Matador Matador is the brand that I'm gonna go to for barbecues now I know there's a lot there that you have your Webers you have your um, Jumbucks and all other names out there, but these guys seem to have, design-wise, they seem to have it down pat. Something that works, something that's really lovely, something that you can just sit down and really enjoy barbecuing on. I mean, how good are those lights? I love those lights. And look at those dials. I love those dials. And look at the, the charger. You've got a charger there. Beautiful. So just imagine when you have your fridge on the side and your big island on the side I'm even thinking put some other stuff on there and well yes on the side as well what they've done is you actually have a space where you can keep all your your tools for cooking there you go your hooks there you can open your drinks there as well pretty good I want you guys to check out something as well so you see this big LED light so that's pretty good for if you if you want more light actually like you've got light for the barbecue but you also want light for your guests or for yourself when you're out there um got this for about 50 bucks from bunnings just runs off your power and it can hang on there's two options it can hang on using like some wires like holding on to four corners of the light or you can actually tape it onto something and then it will work like that which is pretty good you can make it it's not weatherproof but the way i did it i took mine apart put some silicon around it and now i can just leave it out it doesn't matter if it rains it'll be right then another thing another essential that you really want to get when you're setting up your outdoor space for barbecuing is these things these tiki torches look at that you need that tiki torch because let's get the sun out of there Okay. You need these ticket torches. Uh, there you go. That's a better view. These ticket torches. So, because all those mozzies, they love to come at you when you're having your barbecues, don't they? So, what you want to do is get these ticket torches, maybe four or five of them. Put some of that liquid that you buy at Bunnings in there. The mozzie killing or mozzie repellent juice in there. That will make sure that you don't have 
you know, if you're not constantly squat this, like trying to squash mosquitoes and not enjoying your barbecue. So that's really essential. That and the cover for the barbecue and of course the barbecue itself. So shout out to Matador for making great barbecues. And I just love that logo, the Red Bull, eh? Just shows you these guys mean business. All right. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Till next time. Cheers.